Oh, I'm still so jet lagged. Hi everyone, it's Tash and welcome to another recipe video. And because it's the Dragon Boat Festival this Friday, also known as Duan Wu Jie, we're going to make Zongzi. Despite me posting the scone recipe video last week, as I explained that was filmed in advance because I knew I would be shattered after the long journey back from Malaysia. As you can see, I also cut my hair in Malaysia, a little bit shorter. The recipe video you're seeing now on Wednesday was shot the previous weekend, it's just gone. And it's only been a few days since I landed on Tuesday back in England and I, I'm still wiped out. I swear there's something about being in your 30s that makes everything harder. So I will do my best to make sense in this video, if not, and I'm editing it in a minute, then I will put captions down if I'm just talking utter bollocks. Anyway, Zongzi. Traditionally eaten during the Dragon Boat Festival, they are sticky rice dumplings filled with whatever you like, can be sweet, savoury, sometimes sweet bean paste, sometimes chicken, pork, mushrooms. Today I'm going to make a sweet one and I'm going to mix some red bean paste with chocolate and I promise you it works so well. I swear, I don't know why people don't mix chocolate with red bean paste more often. It's such a good combination, even though it sounds really weird. The sweet multi starchiness of the sweet red beans and the rich slightly bitterness of the dark chocolate, it's just such a good combination. And these dumplings are wrapped in bamboo leaves, which we also have to do a little bit of preparation first. So we're going to go back in time one night and see how it's done. The first thing we need to do is soak some bamboo leaves, which I have here. This has actually been filmed the night before, because obviously since you need to soak the leaves overnight, you need to start the day before you want to eat them. This is what the leaves look like when they're dried. You can actually find a brand where they are pre-soaked, but I find they're a bit too skiddy, so I like to use the dried ones. And uh, I'm just going to take a bundle, let's see. My recipe makes about 14. How many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's more than 14 in here for sure. But you know, sometimes you get ripped leaves, so you want to choose a few more than you'll actually need so that you can choose nice solid leaves to do it with. There are definitely more leaves here than I need, but you know, it's good to use and soak a few more than you need because some are bound to break, so you want plenty of good solid leaves. So what I'm going to do is soak these overnight. So make sure they are in plenty of water. You can see they're kind of resisting the water at the moment, but don't worry, they will soak up and they'll become nice and green. So I will show you that in the morning, but for now, good night. And here we are the next day. As you can see, I've weighed them down with some bowls because when they float, the top leaves don't get soaked. And they were floating quite a bit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drain these. I'm going to give them a rinse with some fresh water and then I'm going to snip the tops and the bottoms off. Some people leave the ends on when they wrap them up. I just like to snip them off because they're a little bit tough, so they make it a little bit harder for me to wrap the zongzi because I'm not very skilled. But feel free to uh, leave them on if you want. I do them for the tops and the bottoms just because it makes it a little bit neater. You don't have to be exact about it. The next thing I'm going to do is soak 350 grams of glutinous rice in water. Well, first I'm going to rinse it a bit and then drain it. Then I'm going to fill it up with water and then let it soak for half an hour. There we are, just let that soak in. And now we're going to prepare the filling. I've got a 400 gram packet of sweet red bean paste. Let's give that a squeeze into the bowl here. Phew, that's always unexpectedly hard work. And now we're going to mash in 100 grams of dark chocolate chips. Now we might not use all of this filling, but it's always good to have a little bit more just in case. So you can play around with how much or how little you want to fill your zongzi. Nice! And now we're ready for the fun part, stuffing our zongzi. Now that our rice is soaked, we're going to drain it and season it. So let me just drain it right now. Awesome! And we're going to season it with one teaspoonful 
of caster sugar and half a teaspoonful of salt. Just give that a good stir, otherwise it's going to be a little bit plain. There we go, and do make sure you stir it well because nobody likes a salty pocket. Now for the interesting part. I've got two of my soaked leaves. I'm going to lay one on this side and one on the other side on top so they're sort of facing in opposite directions. And I like to put it shiny side up because that seems to help it not stick. So this is how we're doing it. Now we're going to create a cone. So we need to fold it like this over this way and we're going to bend it so it forms a cone like this. So I'll do that very slowly. Fold it like this and twist your right hand clockwise to make the cone like this. And you want to hold it in your non-dominant hand, which in my case is the left hand. And you can see that we've created a pocket for our rice. This is going to take a little bit of practice, or maybe not, maybe you'll be a pro. This took me ages to figure out. But having done it for a couple of years, I'm not too bad anymore. Not skilled, but not too bad. Now let's fill this thing. We're gonna fill it a little bit with rice at the bottom corner. Maybe a little bit more. Make sure you don't overfill it either. We're going to take a decent amount of our chocolate and red bean mixture. There's about a heaped teaspoonful. Maybe that's more of a tablespoon, really. Plop that in the centre. And we're going to fill the rest with rice. So that we've made a parcel. Whoops, it's got rice everywhere. And now what you want to do is make the parcel. So I like to fold this little bit here, so you can see clearly. Fold that lip, and then fold this over the top. Like so. And then you're creating a sort of triangle. So we're going to fold this over this way. Oops. And this over that way. Instant triangle. And then any other remaining bits just tuck in as you see fit. It's not a very good triangle because like I said, I am not that skilled at making these. You'll see someone with loads of experience making really neat ones. There we go. Now of course this isn't going to stay by itself so we need to tie it. And I just use some ordinary string. So fix there with your thumb and then wrap it a few times to secure it. There, and that is one zongzi. So here we have the zongzi. I ended up making 10 and it always depends on the size of the leaves. These are quite big ones so it ended up making 10. The last time I made this, I made about 14 because the leaves are smaller. Depends from batch to batch. So now we're going to fill this with hot water and boil it for an hour and a half. Now it's been an hour and a half. I have boiled it with the lid closed and these are completely cooked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them off the heat, drain them because we don't need that water. And we are going to serve them hot, but not scaldingly hot. So I'm going to let them cool once I've drained them a bit. Oh, these are looking good, but yeah, like I said, let's just leave them for five minutes until they're not so hot that we burn our mouths when we eat them. And here we have our zongzi ready to eat. As you can see, I've served mine in the lid of a steamer basket because I don't actually have a real bamboo basket, so this is close enough. Of course, you don't need a bamboo basket to serve these. I'm just thinking of aesthetics. Anyway, now we are going to open the parcel because we cannot eat these leaves or the string. There we go, unwrap the string, unwrap the parcel itself. Lovely, isn't that gorgeous? A little pyramid of rice. I love how shiny it gets as well. 
This one had more of a pyramid shape because after I filled the cone full of stuff and before I folded down that top leaf, I also folded in the sides so I created a more rounded triangle if that makes sense. Lots of different ways to do it. I'm not the best Zongzi wrapper in the world but that's not bad, hey? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm already ready for a nap so I'm going to take a bite of this before I fall asleep. It's very sticky, of course, because it's made out of sticky rice. And all those chocolate chips have melted into that sweet red bean paste. Absolutely divine. Anyway, cheers. That is so satisfying. The soft, sticky, chewy rice goes so well with that sweet red bean paste and the slightly sweet and bitter dark chocolate chips. Absolutely lovely. Not a traditional zongzi, but a zongzi all the same. And a nice little modern variation. Oh, these delicious carbs and that jet lag is going to send me straight to sleep in a minute. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you will join me next Wednesday for my next one. Get the full recipe on my blog pastcakes.com and find me on Instagram. I am pastcakes.tastes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see more. Give this video a like if you'd like it to help other people find it. Comment down below if you'd like me to make anything in particular. And I'll see you guys next week. Be good. Be nice and have a good week.